I had one subscriber that asked me to uh, tell a story of when Frank Morris showed up outside of my window when I was a little boy. Actually, it wasn't a window. It was a screened-in porch, and it was a frame house. So uh, with them standing down on the ground, the, the floor of the house was about three feet off the ground. And then the, when they were looking in the, the screen, the, the, I could see this much of them from here up. I'm going to tell you the story because I haven't had a chance to write it in a private email or anything. I'll make it quick, though. And the details are in my book, so if you want to get the book, you can read the rest of it. But they had been there, uh, you know, I don't know if it was the day before or shortly before that, and they pointed a gun at me through that that screen and they tried to shoot me and I got away and uh and they come back and I started freaking out I like I got to get out of here they're going to shoot me again and Frank's really really friendly he goes nah nah don't worry we're not going to do anything he's smoking his cigarette in his left hand we're not going to do anything I just want to say goodbye to you and I'm like you know I mean the guy's suddenly my best friend but Frank told me in Mexico City that he had a split personality he mentioned in there that uh, what today, I don't know what he was talking about back then, but today I know that he was on a prison break. And the other guys had just got out of prison for something. And they said they were going up to Alabama to get some money out of the bank. And they wanted to say goodbye to me. Well, they were talking about the that uh, bank that they robbed in Alabama that got the... the, that got the Anglin brothers put in Leavenworth or whatever, wherever, and you know they went to different prisons and they ended up in Alcatraz over that that uh, bank robbery, the one where everybody thinks they used a toy gun. You know, I mean, Frank mentioned that he said it was his he had an idea about having them tell him it was a, a toy gun, but for those of you who still believe that, um, they could not produce the gun in court which is part of why they got 35 years. Now, um, here's Frank being my best friend all of a sudden, you know, and I didn't have many friends because he killed most of them in the neighborhood. And uh, he says he knew that they were coming to get him. I, I didn't understand why. Who's coming to get him? Uh, you know, a place where I live. Well, he's talking about uh, prison. And uh, these guys are going to go up to the... He said that they were going to go up to the to the, the bank in Alabama to get some money. I didn't know what a bank was. I was, such, I was only about five years old. I didn't know what a bank was. I'd never heard of Alabama. I, I was just really confused. But all those things stuck in my mind all these years. <clears throat> he said that... Uh, you know, several times he said, No, so we just you know, want to come by and say goodbye to you. And I go, well, that's nice of you, you know. And um, I hope I, I hope I. Sorry, I had a little interruption there. Um, okay, Frank was standing out. Frank Morse and the Hanglin brothers, the guys that escaped from Alcatraz, they hadn't gone to Alcatraz yet. When they're standing outside of the screen in porch outside of the screen standing there talking to me and smoking cigarettes and he's standing beside a john and clarence is back in the back poking his head up and trying to look in i talked to him about that in mexico uh one time and i could see he got angry with clarence um because of that because you could tell he had told clarence don't look you know stay down he's trying to hide identities and confuse people so anyway um they're going to get some money out of a bank. They're going to use the story of a, a toy gun. And, you know, he wrapped the whole thing up and said, okay, we're, you know, we just wanted to say goodbye to you. We'll see you later and whatever. I, I don't remember. And they took off walking across my yard. And I was thinking, gee, what a nice guy. Oh, boy, was I ever fooled. <laughs> anyway, that's the end of the story. So... For those of you who really wanted it, there's your story. <laughs>